Understanding, refer to the source, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a very important phrase that often comes up in academic writing, professional settings, and everyday conversations. Refer to the source. Understanding this phrase is key to using information responsibly and effectively in any context. So, let's get started and unravel the meaning and usage of refer to the source together. When you hear the phrase refer to the source, it means you should go back to the original material or document where the information was first mentioned or published. This could be a book, a scientific article, a website, or any other medium where original ideas, facts, or figures are presented. The purpose of referring back to the source is to verify the information, give credit to the original author, and allow readers or listeners to explore the material in more depth if they wish. Referring to the source is crucial for several reasons. Firstly, it ensures that the information you're using or sharing is accurate, as it allows you and others to verify the facts. Secondly, it avoids plagiarism, which is using someone else's work without giving them credit. Plagiarism is a serious offense in academic and professional environments. Lastly, referring to the source shows respect for the original creator's efforts and intellectual property. To refer to the source effectively, you should 1. Mention the author's name. If available, always include the name of the person or organization that created the original content. 2. Provide the title of the work. Include the title of the book, article, or web page where the information can be found. 3. Include publication details. For books and articles, mention the publisher and the year of publication. For web sources, provide the URL and the date you accessed the information. 4. Use quotation marks for direct quotes. When you're using the exact words from the source, enclose them in quotation marks. 5. Summarize or paraphrase. If you're not quoting directly, summarize or paraphrase the information in your own words, but still mention the source. Let's look at some examples. Direct quote. According to Smith, 2020, language learning increases cognitive abilities. Paraphrase. Smith, 2020, argues that learning new languages can enhance mental skills. Web source. On their website, the World Health Organization, 2021, states that. We hope this video has shed light on the importance and method of referring to the source. It's a fundamental skill that not only improves the credibility of your work but also fosters a culture of respect and integrity in the exchange of information. Thank you for watching, and remember, accurate and responsible communication is key to effective learning and sharing. See you in the next video.